Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. We recently had the opportunity to interview Tom Weldon, the CEO of Ponce de Leon Health, the company behind the currently available calcium AKG product, Rejuvent. Tom talks about the research on AKG, the benefits, the difference between AKG and calcium AKG, and the current clinical trials. Tom has been taking the supplement for three years and his family started a bit later. They all took the epigenetic age test before and after taking Rejuvent. In the interview, Tom discusses his experience and results. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Let's take a look at a brief clip of an interview we had with Dr. Brian Kennedy, in which he describes how he worked with Ponce de Leon Health on looking for a natural molecule which can contribute to our health span. After a number of trials, their research identified AKG as providing the best outcome. Alpha ketoglutarate, can you talk about what we found in animal models and kind of what the next steps are? Yeah, so um, what happened is that we started, when I was at the BAC, uh, Gordon Lithgow and I started working with a, a company um, called uh, Ponce de Leon Health, or PDL Health. Um, and they were interested in developing products to, to extend slow aging and extend health span. But they didn't want to go down a drug development route because of all the problems I mentioned in terms of getting approval for drugs, etc. So they... What we did is we started screening combinations of natural products that had been linked to aging in some way. And we did that in worms first. And we found combinations of things that had additive effects when you put them together. And there, there are two reasons for that. One is that, you know, we think that hitting multiple aging pathways is likely to have a bigger effect than hitting just one. So there's a biologic reason for that. But also, if you develop combinations of natural products or formulations, you can get IP around that too. So you can protect your inventions. Um, and we found some of those combinations in worms and then started studying them in mice. And actually, uh, Ponce de Leon Health has a product now called Rejuvent that you can buy on the internet. So it's already on the market. Um, the, the main ingredient that we've been studying in, the, in, that, in that product is alpha ketoglutarate. And the exciting thing about it is that it doesn't just extend lifespan. In fact, the extension of lifespan is a little bit modest. It's about 10% in mind. What it really does is reduce frailty and extend health span by almost 50% in our mouse studies. So we're getting compressed morbidity with this uh, natural product. It's generally regarded as safe. It's been given at very high doses in clinical trials by others with no side effects or toxicity. Uh, and um, we see many benefits with respect to aging in the animal. Um, so we don't have all the human validation yet, uh, but the animal data looks quite good. And uh, some of the anecdotal data that, that people are sending back to us that are taking the product is interesting as well. Um, one thing is that people have been taking alpha ketoglutarate for exercise performance and muscle building for a long time. Uh, in fact, you, the product's already been on the market for a long time. Um, and uh, many people report improved exercise performance. So it'll be intriguing to see if we find that as well. I will use this paper to walk through some of the benefits and mechanisms of AKG. AKG is a key molecule in the Krebs cycle and determines the overall rate of the cycle. The Krebs cycle is also known as a citric acid cycle and is the last part in the process whereby our mitochondria turn carbohydrates or fats into the energy currency of the cell. ATP. It decreases protein breakdown and increases protein synthesis with the effect of enhancing bone and skeletal muscle formation. Perhaps the most interesting thing is that AKG has been shown to extend lifespan in adult C. elegans worms and it was because of this effect that AKG was one of the mo molecules that Ponce de Leon and the Buck Institute looked at when they were searching for natural molecules that might extend lifespan. Also an interesting phenomena was that AKG delayed the onset of age-related diseases. It was this second effect that was most prominent in the mouse studies that doctors Lithgow and Kennedy conducted. Here are a couple of graphs from the C. elegans study. The first is a survival curve, showing significant increase in lifespan in the treatment group when compared to the control group. And graph B shows the dose-dependent effect of AKG on lifespan. In terms of mechanisms, the authors postulated that AKG's inhibition of ATP generation by ATP synthase, which in turn downregulates TOR, 
Corroborating evidence of this is that AKG's effect does not work in concert with dietary restriction, probably because they are both working through the same pathway. In the mouse study, we look in more detail at the effects on health span of mammals. Another benefit of AKG is its effect on bone health and muscle growth. AKG has been given to pigs, turkeys, rats and sheep with the effect on their skeletal system and muscle synthesis. As a summary, in AKG treated animals there was significant increase in weight, length, bone mineral density and a number of other measures of bone health when compared to the control group. Similar influence of AKG administration on bone tissue was also observed in human studies where it helps post-operative recovery in a number of cases. Part of the mechanism for AKG to help bone health is its role in the synthesis of collagen. It supports this process in two ways. First, as a cofactor in the conversion of proline to hydroxyproline, which then goes on to form collagen. And second, as a precursor to P5C, which goes on to form proline, the collagen synthesis helps to promote the bone tissue formation. Earlier this year, we did a review of the Dr. Brian Kennedy and Dr. Gordon Lithgow paper on calcium AKG. We will link to the video in the description, but let's quickly look at a couple of key points from the study. First is these two survival curves for female and male mice. The effect on the lifespan was not large, but was significant for females. Even though, as we can see, AKG was not given to the mice until they were already 18 months old, well into middle age. More interesting is these frailty measures where we can see that the treatment group did much better in most measures to the control. Note that a higher frailty score means that the mouse is more frail, so lower is better. And here for the males, where we can see an improvement, but less so than for the females. Here is a picture of one of the mice from the control group and one from the treatment group, and you can see that the treated mouse has much better coat quality. I hope that you found the video informative. We will be posting our interview with Tom Weldon soon, so please stay tuned. Please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well and we'll speak to you again soon.